do that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Welcome to Guilted Into It. I am your host, Roseanne, with my co-host. Don't say that. Bridget. Don't say that. You really need we're to equal hosts. You say we're your hosts. You called me a sidekick last time. Yes, because that's because you disrespected me. I disrespected. How did I disrespect you? You said it about the intro. I don't know. I don't know. We we really. I laughed because I just looked over before we started, and you were just like this, <laughs> like <laughs> camera ready. Well, you have to be camera ready, right? I've been camera ready since eleven o'clock. <laughs> I got nothing going on. Yeah, I know. Zero. Although. I did go to the gym today, as I do every day. We get it. But today, the instructor openly complimented me, told me that my God. form was absolutely perfect on every exercise. I am thinking of maybe doing this professionally now. What were you doing? We were doing clean and presses, just everything. The way it was bent over and doing the deadlifts and the curls. And I was just perfect. I don't believe that he said your form was good on every single one. Every single one. That's because you're right in the front. And he's looking at you. She? She. Whatever. Regardless. I'm a leader in that class oh, now. God. People look to me for the right form. All right. <laughs> I mean, you're small. It's easy to have good form. Your limbs are barely... You know what I mean? What does that have to do with anything? If you were lankier, it would be tougher to, let's say, be in a, the correct push-up form. Is that why you have troubles? No, nope, I'm very good. I have a very strong core. So do I. But this is what I'm saying. You're minute. I'm minute. You're wow. like a little action figure in the class. <laughs> <laughs> An action figure. You are. All right. I know. It's okay. I think you should do it. I think you should become a personal trainer. I should. So maybe you just have something, something to do. Something to do. Stop I mean, hearing about how boring your life is. Well, it is. I'm sorry. Like Sunday, I, we, we were just talking before, right? I made dinner. Mm -hmm. It was like the best day. I had stuff to do all day long. You can make me dinner any day. Well, I don't. It was, I like to cook for a lot of people. Right. No. <laughs> okay. It's just cooking for one other person. Okay. You know. Plus, you, you're late. You, you want to eat too. I can't eat that late. I'm not. My body is a temple now. Oh, God. I have the perfect form, and I need to make sure that I eat at the right time. And what time is that? I, like, I don't know. 3 p.m.? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no. I don't know, 5 o'clock, 5.30. You know what's interesting? Because you just complained, you know, since you're all Susie Fitness now, mm -hmm. you just complained about walking tomorrow at 7.15. But I'm doing it. No, but you, you were complaining about it. But what, what I'm curious about is why... Because every morning you send me the wordle at about 5.30 in the morning. It's that, you know, it's cold in the morning. You got to get up, you got to get dressed, then you got to go out in the cold. It's cold. I'm cold. Don't you know shivering is a uh, muscle movement? I'm yes. sure you would be amazing at it. I, 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 would, I would be. I would. My muscles really shiver. It's good. Yeah. So, so how are you? <clears throat> I'm good. Yeah? Anything fun in your life? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. I good. did a tight 30 on the elliptical this morning. Nice. nice. I was late to work. And you were <laughs> shocking. No, I wasn't late. I was right on time. That's just late. Yeah. I, I can't get to work right on time. How do you get to that? You got to jump right in then. There's no prep time. There's no you time. Yeah. I mean, there isn't. I actually walked in the same time as the kid that I was about to see, and he was already screaming. Oh. In my head, I was like, same. <laughs> I felt that. Well, we have a really great, we have a, oh, first of all, let's give it up. We have a, another live studio audience. Oh, yes. Yeah. Let's hear it. There Thank you. I like the, I like the live studio it's audience. Nice. I like the feedback, the laughter, yes. you know, but we have a great show. We have a great guest. Yes. Today. He was supposed to be here a couple weeks ago. Last, yeah. And he, ago. yeah. And he got jammed up. I don't believe him. I don't, I mean, either. I, I didn't want to guilt him though, because. I felt kind of bad if it was true. Yeah. You know? We'll see. We'll see. But uh, we have Fat Fat Jay with us tonight. And that is his number one fan, Marianne, is here. <laughs> yep. They don't come for us. They come for Fat Jay. That's, that's true. That's what we're doing. So I guess we, we should just. I think we should bring we him should on. Bring him on. Let's, let's go to our commercial. 
The updated commercial. The updated Can't commercial. All right. Yep. So let's do we'll that. See. And we don't have a whole minute. We have to get that chair up here. It's quick. not a whole minute. It's not a whole minute. How anymore. long is it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I forgot to check how long it was. This so is a very poorly run the show. I it is, but I'm doing it all alone. Oh, oh my! There it is. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not coming anymore. Right. Let's see. No, do I a can clean and press with the chair. <laughs> Let me see you do it. All right, Bobby, let's play our commercial. Here we are with Jay. Job of the hut. <laughs> How are you? Welcome, Jay. Welcome to Guilted Into It. Thanks for having me, Rosie. Oh, it's my pleasure. And Always. Me. And Bridget, Thank the you. sidekick co-host. Of What's good? <laughs> How's everything? How are you? I'm wonderful. It's been a minute. I haven't seen you as much now that you're blowing up in the comedy world. I'm not blowing up. You're just too much at the gym, Rosie. I don't understand. <laughs> How are we going to have a guest on named Fat Jay and have an opening monologue about the gym? That's it's a, almost offensive, actually. Yeah, I don't yeah. understand. I was sitting over there. I was like, are they serious? Right? <laughs> I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that either. But I have to ask first. Let us let me get a little me time in. I don't want to take ahead. over the show. No, please take it no, over. Take it over. But I got to tell you, Rosie's retired now. That's why she's at the gym and doing all this. Yeah. If I hit the lotto tomorrow, you'll never see me in the gym. Um. <laughs> But, you know, I was I'm like, Rosie, you're retired. What are your plans? She's like, Jay, acting, comedy, full time. Da, da, yeah. da, da. Go on Facebook. Big announcement. Big announcement coming 430 this day. Oh, da, yes. Da, 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 da. An announcement. I tune in. I'm like, yo, they're reviving Annie. <laughs> Al Pacino's daddy, Warbucks, 99 years old, hobbling through the mansion. There's Rosie, you know, with the glass Still slipper, playing pepper. You know? Hey, kid, say, you remember when we had it this way, you know? And all of a sudden, she's on TMZ in a blimp and ain't easy shirt behind <laughs> set, you know? But nope. 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 It's a makeup pyramid scheme. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. I'm like, is this real life? Oh, yeah. And then, now, okay, I'm at work, scrolling through. Rosie's going live. Oh, what's Rosie got to say? Maybe this is the announcement. Here she comes in her robe, the hair up. Yep. I'm like, does she not know it's on live right now? <laughs> oh, hey, good morning. Da, 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 da. Now it's a makeup tutorial yes. seven days a week. <laughs> Jay, I get, I routinely get emails. From her, and I'm like, why is she emailing me? And she's like, Christmas is around the corner, live lifers. <laughs> like, something crazy. I'm like, I just want to drink the weight loss tea at this point. Right. Rosie, please don't go live today, please. Yeah, she made me take a color match quiz. A color I'm match quiz. White, porcelain, the lightest color. I don't need a <laughs> quiz to tell me that. It was a scheme to get me on the email list. Oh, God. I was dying. I was it dying. Well, you know, I mean, listen. Uh, the, the comedy is starting to pick back up again, you know. Mm -hmm. How and was that thing you did in the city? It was really, it was good. It That's was good. Fun? Yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that. I thought you were going to be on Saturday. You're like, no, the big announcement. No, no, no. <laughs> it wasn't a big city. announcement. I'm I like, didn't... holy shit, it's SNL. No. Shane Gillis is back on SNL. Rosie, hey, we did a little improv and a little <laughs> It was like a bringer show. <laughs> in the night, you know, <laughs> for improv. <laughs> All right. You know, it's not. It's listen. one day, Rosie. Come on. Give me, I want a good one. Yeah, we want a real announcement. 
All right. Even I, if you got to do something crazy. You got all the time. You should be auditioning. I am. I'm, I'm submitting. I'm submitting. I'm submitting. You all know. right. What can you do? I submitted like to five things today. Maybe you Don't should forget submit the fat some... guy, weren't you? Never. Are you kidding me? You? Never. Maybe you should submit to some um, fitness related I do. roles. I do. Because, right? you know. She's got the form. I'm going. Full I'm going. Time. I've got the form. She's like the new fucking. Oh, you know what? <laughs> no, you can curse. It's okay. They don't air it on no, TV. it's they don't air it on TV. She's like <laughs> the new. Uh, what was the lady with the Jack Lorraine's chick? No, Jane Fonda. Jane. Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna Jane say. Jane Fonda know. streaming. Jane Fonda, because that's where everything's at now. It's all in the stream. So all all the stream. I'm saying is, if I go on one of these live streams and it's her exercising in her house, I'm done. While putting on makeup. <laughs> it's, yeah, limelight. That's with the what form. I want to see that's tomorrow, Rosie, on the Peloton. Yeah. Straight lines with the mascara touch. Yes. Give us something good. I want to clean and press right into a, a blush. <laughs> I, I know Judy's here. Judy's here. She doesn't want to come here. up because I don't know if she thinks I'm going to make fun of her or something. But if you can't tell, that glare, that's Otto's shirt right there <laughs> from the Chess King. Still got it in perfect form from 1989. He might have wore it to Limelight or something. You don't know. Oh, but my God. That shirt. That. How do you do on the vacation? All right, guys. We're going to get up for breakfast at 930. Guys, get the ring light, Bridget. Oh, yeah. We got to do makeup before we go out for she breakfast. She made me go live with her on Thanksgiving. I went over to make a, a pumpkin bread. She goes, you're going live. I'm like, we did it. Guilty yeah, I had to put it. makeup on. It was funny. Who guilted you into the makeup scheme? Yeah. I wasn't guilted. It takes but she very has, little. Congrats, big number one seller, top producer. At number seven in the month of January. Out of like eight, probably. No. No, for my team. Don't be fresh. <laughs> Rich. I know, I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. So mean. So mean Maybe to me. Maybe I all should the get time. into a pyramid scheme. Maybe it's not a pyramid scheme. They never yeah, are. They, yeah, right. <laughs> they never are. All right. I have of... 17 friends that do uh, Scamway. <laughs> They're still driving Nissan Ultimates. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what happened to the Diamond Club, bro? What happened? You were going to be making $6 million sitting at home. What happened? Now you're driving a Nissan Ultima, you know? <laughs> But we're all just living the dream. Oh, yeah, yes. I'm really living are. the dream. That's for sure. Absolutely. You're living the dream, though. I'm trying. I'm trying. I do live the dream. It's, I'm living my dream. Come on, you're basically a regular at the comedy clubs now. Thank God. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> so humble. He is so humble. Um, I'm going to Indiana and Ohio to See? spool my are bullshit. You? See? Really? Hopefully where, it works where are there. you doing that? I'm uh, going with Terry. Oh, okay. uh, I don't even know where because you know I didn't get the flyer yet. But uh, he asked, somebody asked, so yeah, he's taking well, me. Did you do Keystone stage recently? Not no, not yet? I have not. No, but you were in PA. I did. I with did. him, right? Tommy he was sold out. Crystal. Oh, okay. You guys should get in there. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about that after. Okay. Great little spot. And you were sold out two shows. Yeah. Uh, first night was only. It's like 70 people. Oh, okay. Second night was sold out. It was pretty sick. Nice. It's just a different place, you know? Yeah, you got to switch it up a little bit. You, you know? get some, you know, people that never seen you before. People come up, hey, I want to buy your shirt. Are you selling You're shirts? You're selling shirts now? I sell the shirts, yeah. Oh. So a guy. Making making fun fun of the makeup. show. He doesn't bring us any merch. Yeah, we didn't get a, we didn't get a shirt. Merch for the, they smell like weed and cigarettes. <laughs> tell them they're in the car. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you, you know. <laughs> I would wear I would what do they say? Blimp and ain't easy? Yeah. I'd wear a blimp and ain't easy. That, I was hoping you were gonna be on TMZ with it on. Uh I'll wear it to the gym. Oh god. <laughs> no, I won't wear Tie it to the it gym. Tie it up with the perfect form. You should wear it. To the gym. I should wear it to the gym. I think the slogan loses something if you need an extra extra small in it. We don't have extra small. <laughs> the smallest we have is large. And they smell like weed. And but isn't that the is that's authentic then, right? Exactly. That's part of your brand. Exactly. That's part of your brand. When you break it out in ten years when I'm dead, well, five years, whatever it is, <laughs> it's gonna have it's got his scent. It yeah. smells yeah. you know, like, like cannabis. Yeah. <laughs> like that. So yeah, those are fun. Those are great spots. It's a great spot. And I'm just living my dream. I get to you stay at a shitty hotel. 
But, you know, you hang out with Billy Geyer and you Terry. You with Terry. Terry, we went to Philly. They wanted me to run the Rocky Steps. Oh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> run the, I'm like, no, bro, no. I want to par double park the car to take a picture with the statue. You guys want to run the Rocky Steps? I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm good. But it was a good day, you know, get out. Uh, have some fun, like gentlemen. Like Jen, good gentlemen. for you. That's great. That's so true. really, what what happened last last time? You, you had to work for real, yeah. or you just didn't want to come on the show? No, no, I really <laughs> had to work. I would never cancel on you. Guys. I know you wouldn't. I'm just if you me. told me tomorrow, yo, you're coming back on. Yo, thank God you posted it because I almost forgot. I just <laughs> Julie's got a question. She has though. a question. We raised hand. I had a question audience. from the audience. Were you the class clown or the class comic? No, I wasn't anything, man. I was just a fat kid that sold weed in school. <laughs> um yeah no i wasn't i didn't get voted anything well when did the comedy happen for you like when did you decide that's something you wanted to do or try i don't know i was like 20 i used to watch deaf comedy jam when i was younger 16 17 so i was always into that type of comedy and like i was like oh i'd love to. and then i saw this guy honest john he was an older white guy doing all black audience and murdering, like mur hysterical. I was like, I want to do that. And they had the DJ, like coming out, like to DJ Kid Capri on uh, Def Cop. That was so sick to me. And I just always wanted to do it. People always said I was funny, but I just never knew how. I didn't know governors had a class. And I met a guy, Frank Macri, at mm -hmm. we worked together. And he was like, you want to do comedy? I was like, yeah. <laughs> and here we are. And here we are. Here we are. You never took a class? Uh, so I did like some private like group sessions with Paul Bond oh, to okay. start. Yeah. And then I did a show with Terry because so Butera helped Frank run the show that I was on. So he saw me. I was I brought a hundred people the first time. Literally? So, yeah, literally. <laughs> so I wow. didn't know about the bringer situation. Oh, yeah, they Frank probably got, loved you. Thank God he put it down. Yeah, so he was trying to poach me. Oh, but he, you probably should have just brought, like, you know, 20 at a time. I didn't realize, but, <laughs> But if you I'm know. a bringer, like, producer, and I see that, I'm not trying to poach you. That's it. You just you blew it. You have everybody you know come to that show. That's kind of how it worked now? out. Yeah. <laughs> but, and then I did another show, and I met Terry. I met Carrie. She was the headliner for my second show. So she was like, oh, you know, if you ever need help, how long are you doing this? I was like, this is my second show. So like, if you ever need help, I can help you. Here's my info. I was like, all right. And then I talked to Terry, and he was like, yeah, she was my teacher. Da, 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 you got to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly how he talks. And here we are. And now Terry's a burden. <laughs> I don't know if you saw I it. did he's, see that. I called him a burden. <laughs> he's, you know, we were just having so much fun. But he's like a 12-year-old. He's like a college kid on at, at a dorm room situation. But when you go, like, I'm the dad because all I do is smoke weed. I don't drink. So he's drinking. And he's like a 12-year-old. Are we there yet? I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom. I'm like, I'm like, you're just a burden. Like, you're just a burden. Can we eat breakfast first like a human being? Excuse me, sir. The last thing you are is a human being. <laughs> <laughs> but I did this. I was sitting in the car, Billy Geyer, Joe Wincho. It's two in the morning. And I'm just like, I got to take a picture of Terry when he wakes up. And I got to post it. Like, how is this guy still alive? Yeah, it's and I'm true. like, I have the greatest <laughs> song for it. And I posted it. Something like a phenomenon was a song. The whole day he's singing something like a phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just dying laughing. That's the road gigs. Do you guys share rooms when you go on the road? Yeah. The she, three of you? Wow. Who's no, who's Terry in the beds? Me. What's the bed situation? Uh, typically, I stay with Billy in the room, and Winchell stays with Terry. Okay, so, oh, so no one's telling you to share beds. No, no one's no. spooning. She, could you look at me? <laughs> I think it'd be cozy. I'm like a 58 inch wide right now. Dude. I'm taking up as the whole TV. Like if I ever get a show or anything, this is what I'm going to look like on TV. It's just going to be the head with a little thing. No shoulders. Look at me. I think it'd be cozy. Yeah. Like a teddy bear. I don't know. I, I was so high. 
And I just wanted Billy to be like, no, let's go to the bed, like go, go to the room and go to bed because we were sitting in the car burning. And he was just like, you want to burn another one? And I'm just like, no. It was like three in the morning. And then I woke, I, he was in the room packing bowls. And I'm like, I went to bed. I woke up at 7.15 and he's opening the blind quietly. But the sun is just blaring in <laughs> so bad. I'm like, oh my. And I'm like, why is he opening it quietly? So I'm like, I'm not even going to yell. No, no, I don't care. And he's still in the same spot smoking bowls. I'm like, did you sleep? Like, And then I woke up at 10 and he wasn't even in the room. I'm like, where are you? I went for a walk. Like, that's the last guy you're looking to tell you. He went for a walk. You yeah. know? Like, you don't want to go for a walk tomorrow. This guy <laughs> packed up bowls and went for a walk around I some... I think Motel if you six. guys if you guys really go on the road, you should need you should have a tour just called the How Are We Alive tour. You all should be dead. That that's a that, good one. That's right? an excellent. If you ever use oh, that, crazy, that I'm name, I'm the healthiest one out of the right? three of them. <laughs> that name you just came up with like that. I'm good. I'm oh, good at names. Just boom. How are we alive tour? That would be very funny. That's though. Funny. It, she couldn't come up with a name for the show. No, I'm blocking. it took I, forever. I, um, but I came up with it. Here's she would come to me every day. She would just like say anything that came to her mind. She would, like, how about that? <laughs> like I'd be like, oh, my shoes untied. She would, how about that? <laughs> like anything I said was the show title. And I was like, well, no. You sometimes gotta, it takes a minute. You, you gotta know? spit right. the, the creative you juices. You think to about it. Tell the know? people how Mary and Tuskin got guilted in for coming. Not playing cards tonight. Again, he's missing cards. This is the second time he had to miss cards to come to guilt he, it into like it. The Look second how happy time. He looks, he looks thrilled yeah, to he's be thrilled. in the audience tonight. He's like, I could be at the gym right now. He's going to the gym. He's going back to the gym. Yeah. See? Don't do that to yourself. Everybody's you don't going need, to You don't the need gym. that negativity in your life. <laughs> we'll, we'll meet up and we'll walk around the neighborhood. <laughs> There you we'll go. Walk to the bagel there joint. We'll walk to the bagel joint. We'll smoke a do, have a bagel like a gentleman, and then we'll walk back home. We'll park like four, four stores down. No, we'll, that's the exercise. There you go. That's it. You. Oh my God. So, wait, wait, how long have you been doing comedy now again? March tenth will be seven years. Wow. Wow. That's great. Are you that have a show great. planned for your uh, anniversary there? No. No. I'm just hoping I get booked somewhere. Yeah. You will. I got to work with Chris Franjola. Are you guys uh, Chelsea fans? Chelsea? Yeah. Hit? Oh, yeah. Okay. So he used to be on. I used to watch that. I'm like, that was so sick. And he was so nice. He followed me back. He shouted me out on his live. Oh, nice. That's that cool. felt good. That is cool. But the guy who did the show with me before, he had 5,000 followers. I shared, He shared my story, but never followed me back. Yeah. So I unfollowed him the next time. <laughs> That's the life of comedy. That's the business. Some yeah, guy, it. great story. Some guy introduced, hey, I'm Blase Blah, uh, seller comedian. Nice, nice to meet you. I'm Fat Jay. Just, just a regular guy. I'm a middle sometimes. Sometimes I host, whatever. If I brought my own people. You're going to do a guest. Okay. He closed the curtain at the brokerage so him and his people didn't have to talk to me. What? Closed the curtain. No way. The wow. host goes, well, what's your credits? Da, 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 da. Host goes up. You know, arms away. <laughs> Fat Jay went up and did 10 minutes. Crush. Solid. I have some new stuff. That all worked. That's when they all, oh, great job. That would be like the conference. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Wow. But that's what you get in this. Yeah. You know, people are jerks. They, it's a shitty business. Yeah. yeah. It's cutthroat. That's crazy. Cutthroat. It's definitely cutthroat. Sometimes you can't think of a name. Think of a name? For the podcast. No. Oh. It's like, you see how quick it's gone? It's, She's, it's that, that moment has passed for her. I think, yeah. See, I was never any good at callbacks. I, I forget. I forget, Yikes. but now I get it. You think of a name. All right, I'm sorry. I'm a little slow. All right, tonight. I want. I'll Go ahead. Jay. How's retired life? It yeah. sucks. I hate it. I, I you go hate to the gym. it. I'd hate it too. I hate it. All right, I have. I have a question for you, Jay. Since our our podcast is called "Guilted Into It," what well, I want to know, like, what makes you feel guilty, or what do you feel guilty about? It doesn't have to be deep. Or who it makes just you feel be... guilty? 
or do you ever feel guilty? Is that an emotion you feel? I feel Doesn't guilty. see. <laughs> I know it like at home. I'm the sorriest fat bastard you've ever met in your life. You know, apologize, apologize. Right. But I don't know if I ever feel guilty. I don't know. Wow. What do I feel guilty about? I, I used know. to do crimey shit, you know, when I was a kid. But I came up. I was crimey a poor, shit. Yeah, grimy <laughs> shit. Like, yeah. you know, rob and steal. Like, <laughs> you know, like. You don't feel bad about it. I, I've asked for forgiveness. Listen, man. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's in God's hands. That's you know, true. like. Yeah. What am I going to do? Like, what about guilty that's, pleasures? That's do you have any guilty pleasures? Yeah, weed. Yankees. Comedy. <laughs> food. Food. Um, laughing with my friends. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're a foodie. You like a good steak. Oh, uh, yeah. I like to eat. I like to treat myself like a gentleman. That was one thing. Like a gentleman. <laughs> I love what you said. Chance, like. <laughs> <laughs> like job of the heart. Uh, Get in my belly. <laughs> I like, you know, my grandmother was always, or oh, we always ate, you know, family time, like Sunday, like, you know, like, unfortunately, we don't get to do that in my family anymore. The, the nieces and nephews are in college, one's in Connecticut. My two young ones, they don't want to go to Staten Island on Sundays. I can't because, you know, sometimes you got shows. So we don't get to do that. And, like, I miss those days. And that's, like, those are the good times. Uh, I don't know what my point was after that. I don't know. That's, that's just very, nostalgic. That was very heartfelt. That yeah, nice. like, I miss those. Like, I like those. Are you, you know? Italian? Like, what are yeah, you? we're Italian. So my grandmother always, you know, my grandfather was, oof, three o'clock. We eat at three. If you are not here, don't come in at 3.02. Don't come in at 4.30. You can come in any time after, but do not let me hear that microwave ding with a plate of pasta <laughs> in it because you will be kicked right out of the house. We eat at 3 o'clock on Sunday. Three and, yeah, like, I like that. That was, you know, like, that's the good times. But, you know, we got yeah. together for Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know. That's nice. But those go great. fun. That's just a cash grab because I got no kids. I get no gifts. I'm out nine hundred a thousand. <laughs> Guys, you want to come to the show? Nah, not really. Uh, we've seen you enough. Wow. I just gave your shitty kids three thousand dollars. How about you come watch a show <laughs> for twenty bucks and, and, and a, a two drink, drink minimum? minimum. <laughs> you cheap bastards. Seriously. Ah. No well, one wants. Yeah, that's the thing. And when you start comedy, everyone's like, "I gotta come see you," and then it it falls and off. It's like, yeah, been there. But you know what's gonna happen? Because you're gonna make it, and Rosie, when from your mouth to God's ears, and please, when, God. I don't. I just want to have to not have to get up on Monday morning. Right, but yeah. when that happens, then you're gonna see all those people who want to come to your shows are gonna be like, oh, that's my insert friend, cousin, brother, nephew. Oh yeah, work. oh yeah. Let them come. Let them come. Let them come. <laughs> Rosie, if that ever is the day, I got, we're, we're doing lives together. Because I'll be putting on makeup yes, and everything at I want her to put it on you. Yeah. Huh? Would you let her give you a makeover? She, you don't know? Big announcement today. Oh. <laughs> she does facials. Oh, I know. I'm like, Jesus the duo Christ. Lab. Rosie, you were the retired principal. Yeah. Big way. Now you're going around giving facials? Girl's got to eat. I man. was going to say, hey, I more. got some blackheads. You want to come over <laughs> and pop these things? You know, what do you charge for that? Can you do it at the office? Maybe we'll get the other guys to get one too. You know, what does. happened to the Annie revival? Come on, Rosie. Uh, yeah, I know. How, how come you weren't ever at the premiere for any of the remakes of Annie? They didn't want the originals? They there? don't want that. I always, it's historically anything having to do with Annie, I, I always get. You get snubbed? Shafted. Wow. Yeah. She goes to Arizona and gets $30. Right, yeah, yeah. Smile pretty. <laughs> <Dirty>. <laughs> can I Venmo yeah. you? Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, I keep, I'm like, how is that not the greatest thing ever? I keep getting fan mail to my house from her. For, like, people who send pictures, they're like, please sign this and I send it only back. Um, half of them probably do comedy on Long Island. Because <laughs> I can only imagine the 60-year-old women sending you fan mail. Oh, my God. You have to yeah. read 
that I freed it. Yeah, you have bring it. They're in aggressive. And read that. They're aggressive. You have to read that. That's a guilted into you whole episode. Rosie's fan mail. Yo, sure. please, I have to see that. Some, All right, yeah. some of them are are very nice. You know, you meet weirdos at the uh, convention. I'm sure they're weirdos. I mean, but they probably think I'm a weirdo. Listen, you, you go to one of those like Comic Con type things. You know, you got the cosplayers. They're all dressed up, like you know. Who's the most famous person you've met there? Uh, Car Carney Wilson. Of the Wilson Phillips. Oh, you yeah. don't know them. So that, that puts into that. perspective the that what goes check. on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Check. Yes. I guess so. Right. I think that was, she was probably the most famous, the most well known one. I mean, what was she getting a picture? 80? Probably. Maybe 80. Maybe, yeah. But, you know, the ones that I go to aren't the big, big ones. You know, okay. I'm trying to, we're trying to get into sick. the big, That's... big ones, but it's still, it's fine. You know, I want to go if you get into the big ones. I want to I be like, yo, he's got to be my photographer, you know? I Barely, go. yeah, the security guard. You'd be my handler. You know? yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 30 bucks. <laughs> two for 50. Two for 50. You want two pictures? Two for 50. Well, you'll come home with like four grand. Who's that? That's Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, sing that song they like. The sun will come out to. Oh. It just went up two for 75 <laughs> now. Let's go. You got the song. Uh, I think I should. I think, you know, yeah, you should probably come to the next one. Let's go, Rosie. You should come to the next Fly one. Me on the road. Now I we could do. I want to live on the road. That's what I like. Touring was, you would love touring. Now, oh. I, I was a kid, so it wasn't as much fun for me as it was for Judy, who had the time of her life. Yeah, she, she did. did. How old were you? How you old were you, Ma? What? How old were you on the tour? Oh, 34. 34. 34. I don't, if I went on a tour at the age of 34, I don't know if I would come home alive. I mean, I just, because I like to up. have fun. I like to have a good time. But it was great. That you would love it. Sick. Yeah, like, just go and, like, you know, work in the the uh, places, you know, Pennsylvania. Like, it's just a different town. Mm -hmm. I got to go to Orlando in October. The oh, guy yeah, was so cool. impressed with the amount of weed I smoked outside of the hotel <laughs> that I ended up with 32 new followers because he texted wow. all. They had a group chat about how this fat kid just pops in at, like, midnight and just burns till 4 in the morning, then wakes up at 10 and just starts that over again. <laughs> so he asked me, he goes, hey, what are you doing down here? Because the hotel was like, you know, where like the travel little leagues and the gymnastics oh, yeah. people stay. Mm -hmm. That in itself, you got to stay at one of those because those women, the guys are just like sipping beers, chugging beers in the <laughs> lobby just to get as drunk as because the wife's like, you go here, you go there, you go there. <laughs> yeah. And oh, there yeah. I am sitting like Jabba the Hutt like this in 80 degree weather. In short, smoking doob after doob, like a gentleman. And the guy goes, I just don't get it. I go, yeah, I smoke weed. I'm a comedian. They're like, next time you're here, we're all. And then I got on, I get to the airport. I had 32 new followers. Wow. How many I'll, followers you have now? Like maybe 2,200. Not, nice. I get like dribs and drabs. You know, she was one of those moms when we when my yes. sister was a cheerleader. Like cheerleader. But I was we were the at fun those one. competitions. I was she, always like, yeah, oh, no, you didn't hold on. Before we go, shots. Yes, yeah, literally. Exactly. Now she's like, hold on. I got to put my makeup on. Right. <laughs> hold on. I'll be down in a minute. Bridget, get the ring yeah. light. Get the ring light. <laughs> but no. But I used to watch the, the cheerleading was literally like two minutes and 35 seconds. You watch them. You travel to Florida, spend thousands of dollars to watch them cheer for two minutes and 35 seconds. And as soon as that was over, all the other mothers were like, Oh, we're gonna go stay. We're gonna watch this one. Watch this one. And I looked at my friend, my friend Beth, and I was like, "Find the bar." She's like, "Let's go." That was it. Now it was our time. So, I, I stayed close to Adam Snare when we were um, in Orlando because you know we were gonna go to the gigs together. He was at the festival too. But my friends from Atlanta, my old neighbors from Massapequa, who moved to Atlanta eight years ago, came to see me. In Orlando. Wow. Like, it was the sickest thing. That's cool. So they stayed at the hotel. So after the show, he's like, you want to burn? Of course. So we go, and 
It was the the the, 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 the festival was at like one of those resorts. The doors opened. They had like reggae music playing. There was waterfalls and pina coladas. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm staying at the Marriott, man. Like, like, there's all little kids running around. There's, the pool was garbage, but I'm like, ah, whatever. I'm like, so next year we're going to make this our home base. And then we'll just hang out by the there pool. I'm like, oh, yeah. Like a gentleman. Like a yeah, gentleman. That's nice. You got you to gotta upgrade. In know? my Speedo. You know, there's something nice. Shirts off. Boobies out. <laughs> But I think there's something about when you like put on that you're you're going to Indiana, you're going to Florida, you're going to Pennsylvania. It it sort of people go, wow, you know, like that's so cool. He's traveling, doing comedy. That's like it elevates it. We make a hundred bucks, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know <laughs> that. Said and done. No, they don't know that though. It, it obviously costs more to do it than what you're getting. Hundred percent. But yeah, like that's the it's it's so cool. Like other people see you. Some guy, I have a big fan, the Marianne uh, in Pennsylvania oh, okay. is Harley Nay. Out of randomly, out of nowhere, he'll just be like, Have you guys seen my favorite comedian Fat Jay on Facebook? And he posts my picture, like, that makes me feel good. Of course. He shows up wearing my shirt that he bought last time I was there. And then he goes, Hey man. The new jokes were really funny this time. Oh, he knows your so, stuff. So, like, yeah, you know what? Well, he just knows your stuff that well. Yeah, like, it's so it's good. Listen, that's, you got to have that yeah, person like out there it's who's, good. you yeah, know. it's like the dream, you know. She has a lot of fans. The first road gig I ever did, John LaRocchia, yeah, put me on. John was LaRocchia in, in the New house. Jersey. Ooh. I auditioned at the Belmore Bean. And he brought me to Barnegat, New Jersey. And then we went to uh, VFW in Connecticut was the second one. Those were the first two road gigs. Nice. That I yeah. ever did for Laugh to Save Live. Wow. Now when I go on road gigs, I wear the shirt. My Laugh to Save Live shirt. There you go. <laughs> yes. So people are like, yo, you're a comedian? Yup. I'm just saying this because I'm here. No, no. It's true stories. That's real deal. I finally... I I finally got my Laugh to Saves Live shirt. Real deal. I got one. So. Yeah, it took me, it took a while too. But I'm a 5X, you know, it's like a car cover. <laughs> so you can't really be mad at the guy. You know? It's like a car cover. <laughs> but it smells like weed now. Yeah, of course, right. Of course it does. Of course it does. So what do you got coming up? Uh, Indiana, Ohio, Myrtle Beach. Oh. Uh, hopefully I'll be around governors, hopefully. Just living the dream, big blimping. And you just want to not have to get up and go to work on Monday. You just want to get it. There's nothing worse than that Monday morning. You know, I like didn't know you had a regular job. Yeah. Until you couldn't come two weeks ago. Yeah, I work a real deal. Like, I know. I didn't. Office. You like, know, I know. I was recently you think told. I, did? I didn't know what you up, did. Yeah. You really thought I was that fat and lazy? No, right? I didn't think that's <laughs> not at all. I just uh, didn't know what you actually did. And then I found out that your job is actually, like, very legit. Yeah, I mean. I was shocked. What do you do? I, See? No one knows. financing and stuff like that. He's helping people with their finances. Oh. I did mortgages. I used to do mortgages. I was the mortgage guy on Long Island for a, a couple of years. Did you wear a suit? Not anymore. In mortgages, we had to. But now, it's the whole COVID thing switched it up. So I go to work like this. Wow. Like this morning, I'm in Dunkin' Donuts. Guys, like, yo, I saw you. I saw you two Saturdays ago at the broker. You were hysterical. I was like, oh, thanks. I'm like, I look like shit, you know. <laughs> but that's and like that's on Monday morning sometimes. Like, oh, I don't. like little Mo Mozzarell posted me one time. Yeah. I'm walking through the parking lot at work, like you know, miserable because <laughs> you don't want to be there anyway. <laughs> I said, yo, I saw you on Mo's uh, thing. Da, 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 da. Oh, my God. This is Fat Che. How can I help you? <laughs> but I'm hoping the day job, I have a, a good client. I'm hoping he's got a connect that he says he has. Mm. I may get an audition at one of the city clubs. From so I'm hoping okay, there you go. that would be amazing that but would make the day job worth it whatever happens i gotta do the day job unfortunately yeah. i live on long island i just want to sell feet pics and shit <laughs> you probably could <laughs> ladies if you're out there and you want to see me with no shirt on in front of a flat screen send 20 bucks <laughs> 
please, good Lord. Please. We'll link your oh Venmo God. there in I the just, comments. I just don't want to go to work any like I just want to write I I want to do pod like imagine doing this all the time. Yeah. Like imagine you had nothing to do today. Yeah. And you're like this is instead it. of like, oh shit, I gotta go do the podcast, you're like, ah, put on makeup at 9 30, done. Went to the gym, done. <laughs> Fat Jay ate at the buffet. Now we're going to go film a podcast yeah. for two hours. Okay, how great is that? Like, it's a life. what are you doing after? Ah, smoking weed. What time do you get up the road? Who cares? No <laughs> podcast. We're good. Like, that, but we got a show at 7 o'clock, so oh, I got to be up by 3. Not that, as you know, not that you have no idea of the torture your life becomes when you hit 40 and you no longer can sleep. Yeah. Really? You. Oh, I'm exhausted all the time. Bro. I'm up. I could go to bed at 2 in the morning, 7.15. Woo! Oh, that what are we doing? What are we doing? But, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. I would give anything to sleep to 1 in the afternoon like a college kid. I used to sleep in really late, but now I, I'm not. I wake up the same thing. My aunt just turned 70. She's up at 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, it's says. that's the middle of the night. Yeah. yeah I mean. Like, and there's nothing but on. She, she's got to go to bed at like 5.00. No, like 8.30, 9. Wow. She goes to the gym, you know. She's like a Zumba Rosie. Right. The gym. <laughs> yeah. If I wake up at 9 <laughs> o'clock, I feel like I've lost the day. Like, I, I mean, appreciate sleeping till 9 because I don't ever sleep oh, till 9. But, oh. oh, my God. When lost I wake up. Day. Well, because, you know, I'm yeah. used to being up. at. But I, I do take a nap. I am a big napper. Oh. How do you nap during the week? Not After during work? the week. Oh, on Only the weekend? on the weekends. Wake up. Duncan run. Start smoking weed. <laughs> how are you not catatonic? <laughs> like how I don't do it really? all the time. Like Monday through Friday, day job, there's no weed till night. Okay. When I get in the car to go home. Like a gentleman. Yeah. When I go in the yeah, I gotta work. They're paying me. When I do right. comedy. Oh yeah, no. If you guys were like, Jay, 25 bucks, come on the podcast. I'm not coming suited out of my face thinking that I like I do tonight. Right. But it's an unpaid gig, so smoke weed on the way. <laughs> right. Absolutely. I think it worked because the studio audience has been laughing. They, they, have, been laughing. they have been if laughing. They have been laughing. They like it great. They didn't pay to get in, so no, they didn't. You know, no, no, nobody pays. No, just me. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And look, we got like five comedians in the room right now. Rich Walker just walked Comedy in. Comedy legend. Comedy Rich legend. I said five. <laughs> so, all right. So, what do you got coming up now? You anything around here? Definitely that you can that you covers. want to plug. I have nothing around here that I can plug. Uh, I'll I post it on Instagram. You did? Okay. Fat Jay's World. If you don't follow, please follow me. Fat Jay's um, World. You might get oh, four more followers from this. Hmm? You might get four more followers from our. Yeah. You might, you might. You might. You never know. I gotta be I honest. Marianne's with you, downloading Instagram right now. <laughs> I gotta. Be, <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, Bridget. The important people are here already. That's right. Yeah, that's oh. true. Oh wow, that really won. Wow, that. wow, you really uh won the studio audience over with that one. You gotta so, schmooze them, Rosie. Let me ask you. you do. What Next. do you do? Just send the makeup on the, in the mail and never call them again? No, you gotta schmooze them, right? Schmooze, schmooze. That's how you're a top salesman this month. <laughs> you gotta schmooze them. We got Lime Life for uh, Christmas. What's Lime Life? That's the That's stuff. Her, That's the yeah. makeup. I, I gave want a facial. Face. So I'll give you a facial. Let me ask you a question, though. This is important now. You know what next Wednesday is, right? What's next Wednesday? It's Valentine's Day. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You got anything planned? No. Um, we do Valentine's the night before because the vegan joints, they get crowded as it is because the vegans are weirdos. Oh my God. Oh. What do you eat in a vegan restaurant? Like, vegan what is shit. your, but what is your go to? Like, I can't even. Yeah. Yo, I'll take you to a spot that I'll take you to a vegan Chinese spot that you would never know was vegan. There's Za Pizza right up the block. You never know it's vegan. Really? Three brothers never know it's vegan. There's some stuff that's like, you know, yeah. when you get to the nut cheeses and stuff like that, like, I don't. I'm. I'm a texture. I guy. used to like, go to Witch's Brew all the time. I didn't know it was vegan until I did. But I just watched uh, a kid do comedy at Mandy Jones's show. One of the waiters there. 
Oh, really? Yeah, he was like, oh, I'm going to do comedy, da 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 And then it, it ended up they didn't book him right. The friend lied to him. So I got him on. But he brought every employee from Witches Brew. Oh, wow. Okay. So. Witches Brew follows me. There you go. They're a big customer. <laughs> Yo, yeah, you are. that lot, if, if we, you went on Witches Brew right now and went to check in, and that thing was closed, the, the, thing, the wait list was closed, I could literally, I have a secret code. Really? You have a Yo, name? it's Fat J. We're on our way. We'll be there in oh 20 God. minutes. I park and I sit. I'm gonna name drop you next time. Yeah, I'm really? Yeah. Yo, everyone knows me. I'm there. going to. Everyone knows me at the at the brew. Yo, no. you know Fat Jay. We're gonna wow. go. We're gonna invite you to go with us. Let, let me know. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. Yeah, let's we'll, go. We'll, we'll go. We'll we go. I normally go like if we do a fundraiser show on a Thursday or Sunday. You get oh, out yeah. at ten o'clock. They're open till midnight. Right. We'll sit right down. Brownie cheesecake. I've never That's been there. That's you gotta get. You forget it? That's the vegan joint. I'm at, not at a Witches cheesecake Brew. guy. I'm allergic to cream cheese. Are you really? Yeah, I'm allergic to cream cheese and bananas. You think I'm fat now? <laughs> Three <laughs> bites of bananas. My face swells up. My eyes are sealed shut. I look like rock. You're the second person this week to say that they're allergic to bananas. Bro, I, I, and it happened out of nowhere. And cream really? cheese. That's a weird thing to be. Is it? Because there's the things that are made make cream cheese are in a lot of other things, but you're not allergic to those, just the combination that makes cream cheese. You put out a beautiful pinwheel right now, a Parmigiano Reggiano. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, <sighs> from the soul. <laughs> but no, nothing. A little tiny drop of cream cheese, eyes swelled shut, hands swollen. Really? My Yo, goodness. so bad. Wow. So bad. Wow. Bananas, too. You've never seen anything like it. Oh, it's the worst. Holy, I did not know that. You gotta take three Benadryl, the EpiPen. They're harpooning me. You can't, you can't eat at a, at a bagel store. Then there's got to be cross contamination. I worked in one. The, there's cream cheese flying around that place. Knock on wood, Bridgie. Wow. I've only gotten a little butter on it and no cream cheese. Wow. Thank God. That's but I did find out because this lady had. I was at a party. She had bacon wrapped cream cheese stuff. Mm. Who doesn't love bacon? Six of those things. <laughs> next thing you know, they're like, "Yo, are you all right?" <laughs> they're asking me if I'm all right. I'm my face is swollen, but I can't see it. You're, you are can't you feel okay? it. They're, they're like, "Yo, your face is swollen." I'm like, "Really?" That's when I go look. They're like, "All right, Benadryl," and I was good. <laughs> you stayed at the party. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? They had more bacon without the cream cheese. Right. <laughs> you know? oh, see, man. but that's that's. Handy stuff to know because I would never know you were allergic to. I would never think to say, "Are you allergic to cream cheese?" Right? Weird, yeah. you know. I would never ask somebody that you're allergic to nuts, you're allergic to peanuts, you're allergic to. Are you doing anything for the Super Bowl? Do you care about that? I'm a baseball guy. I watch the game. Last year we did a show. I recommended you to him, Terry, on oh. the Super Bowl, and you too. Thanks. Right in Seaford. And it was sick. It was in this guy's basement. It was a sick. We did like a show. Oh, really? Yeah, they were all like Trumper people. Yeah. <laughs> but it was so sick. We had so, and then I went home and watched the game. But this year, we're gonna make some vegan snacks and watch the game together. And see if the... Taylor Swift shows up. Everyone's doing the math to see that oh, she could get back from Tokyo from her tour, and she'll have enough like time to be rested for the Super Bowl. I'm like, what are you? She's not playing in the yeah, game. Yeah, she's not playing. You're acting like she's suiting up, and she's it's, gonna be kicking field goals. People have too much time. I love her, but I I am realistic enough to I shouldn't have to be rested for the You're a Super Bowl. Yeah, I am. She is. Oh really? Yeah, I know. Did and you I'm not pay ashamed seven of it. Grand to go to the show? No, I actually got tickets for a reasonable price. I was in the nosebleeds. I was in like the last row, but I paid like so a normal price. So seeing her on TV is a big thing for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy no, every time she's there. Listen, I mean, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about that. If she's so big, why not have her be the halftime show? Because she won't do it. Not enough money. They don't get paid. You know that. Really? The halftime people don't get paid. That's why, like, no real big current stars do it usually. So they're like, that's like the bringer shows of. It's Super literally Bowl. the bringer half of. Halftime Super Bowl um, is the bringer shows of. Uh, how, do, how do you know they don't get paid? Because I just know it. Well, that's not. Okay, look I it up. I just know it. You want me to look Did it up? Did you look it up? I'm going to look it up right now. Look why it up right now. Why you guys have, like, a like a proofreader? Yeah, we don't have that. It's me. I'm with my iPhone right now. Yeah, no. Do, we don't. Do we the don't. Super Bowl. 
we don't. Do well, you're any... doing makeup tomorrow. They're going to be like, you know, Bridget was wrong about that halftime Super Bowl. Guy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, and now every time I I, I do it now, and I haven't done yes, it. They're not paid to do the halftime show, so it wow. costs them money because they have to pay all their like you people, know, dancers, and their band, and all this stuff for the stage. It's like it's actually a giant expense. Wow, for the Super Bowl performers. So how do you like that? I'd love to incur that expense. Yeah, they should actually at halftime instead of these. There's no joke at halftime. Yeah, there you go. You should you know? do, they should do stand up at halftime instead of music. That would you would bomb. That would yeah, be the I world's know. worst. It would bomb. be it would be terrible. I think. I don't care. Sometimes right. it's not about them, Bridget. You're right. It Sometimes would be cool. It's not about them. You might get a couple chuckles from them. Then you could play the song. I have the song. I have the song. Like if I if I ever, I just want to play this song. Uh he goes while you're doing clubs. I'm in arenas. That is the sickest. Who sing, who, what song is it? Uh, R. Kelly, Fiesta. Oh, okay. That's like, like there's a kid. I did a show in the basement of Queens, you know, in a bar in Queens. Liam, Liam Dalton's his name. He uh, works with Cypher Sounds now all the time. We were in the basement in Queens two years ago on a cold winter's night <laughs> for fucking 50 bucks, you know, in Maspin. He was on uh, posting pictures with Chappelle. Really? Doing spots. Uh, he did the Burt Kreischer show. Oh, wow. In uh, Flushing. Like, that's the dream, you know? Like, that's the dream. Yeah. Oh. But what I think, this is my dream, too. So I'm happy with it. The only thing that sucks is getting up Monday morning. Yeah. But then, after coffee and bagels. You're ready. There's Rosie on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> like clockwork. Like Bob Ross. <laughs> Just a little bit of blue, just a little bit of blue. Are the cheeks rosy enough for you this morning, folks? Did you see her glasses, her special glasses she has? I have. They're, they're <laughs> the one lens that she just <laughs> flips over when she's ready for the other eye. Rosie, who guilted you into doing the lie? The problem is that I bought the wrong magnification Can I ask so you, they're wait, too strong how long did you have to how long did you push it off before you did the live the first time because i know you were like i'm not doing it. she, she no i did it immediately alive. she did lives you? for a life i live for a life no one has oh, to really? hold a gun to her yeah. head to go live on facebook no. oh okay. i'll go live yeah girl that's you gotta have that, that. I, I know. yo and i rosie i yo bridget was like yo tell my mom to sing this song down at the fourth of july bench so we had to tell them, you know, they go and girl tore that up. I got <laughs> nervous doing comedy and I sit or say it. I have no in verbatim, yeah, no. you know, like I, my knee was shaking. You <laughs> belted that. So I was like, God, where yeah. did that, where did that come from? Rosie? <laughs> Jesus. She sang at my sweet 16. Yo, I, I she'll Rosie. sing in any event. Rosie, you're doing a national anthem if I ever make it. All right. I love that. Ed, you want to know, because we only have, what do we have, two minutes, 30 seconds yeah. left. I want to make sure that I say this because I, I'm not just buttering you up, and I mean it. It's from the heart. Well, wow. Not only are you very funny and very talented, but you are one of the nicest people. Thank you, Rosie. Wow. That I've ever met. Thank Round you. of applause from the and studio in audience. audience. Thank you. I appreciate that. It, it really Thank is you. true. You you wow. you don't um like you just talked about all these people and everything. You're not like, oh, I'm not gonna mention it's only it's all about me. It's all about. you're just really gracious and really kind. Wow. And let's live the dream together. I I can what you say? And she really said. high. Sometimes. <laughs> but Judy, you get the good stuff in a prescription, honey. <laughs> I'm buying shit from black guys in back alley somewhere, you know? Like, uh, wow, that was nice. That was emotional. It's not a nice. dry eye in the house. She right would have cried if right. I didn't make fun of a makeup tutorial she, for the past 48 minutes. She would have cried know? if it weren't for the Botox. You got Botox? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. But no, you don't but, need the makeup, Rosie. No, you she don't doesn't. Need Look at her makeup. skin. She has beautiful skin. Just go on with the ring light and be like, what's up, Fat Jay? How you doing this morning? I think you have to say hi to him in the lives every morning now. I, I am now. Watching. He I is watching. I, I scroll through. Sometimes he'll comment. I That's comment. I know he's watching. Like, I couldn't wait when I did the show that Marianne was at. Oh, yeah, yeah. And her husband wasn't there. <laughs> I couldn't wait to tell Rosie. 
<laughs> yo, Rosie saw my number one fan last night. Cause that, it feels good. Like, yo, if it feel, yo, people's like, yo, you're so far. I'll tell you, we got 40 seconds. Yeah, go. Three girls, we do some shitty restaurant show. I go to take my aunt, my girlfriend to Shaggy. Three girls dressed looking like they were at a singles party. Oh my God, it's Fat J, hand on the shoulder. Wow. The look that, of death. And I'm just like, <laughs> do I know you? <laughs> I don't think We saw you at Sophia's. You were hysterical. I'm like, okay, thank you. I'm going to go back to well, my girlfriend. Don't touch me, don't touch she me. better get used to that no. if you're going to be famous. A that's what's going to happen. Hopefully. Right? Yeah, that's right. Well, thanks for having me, thanks, ladies. Thanks you guys for are the joining best. us. You guys are the best. Love you. Studio thanks. audience, thanks for coming out to Guilt It Into It. Watch it every weekend on Wednesdays. And Thank now, you. stay tuned after this for Laughter Saves Lives Live. Have a great day, everybody. See you next week. Shut up. Oh, yeah.